Hi guys and welcome to the Sheffield Wednesday Nottingham Forest preview. Well this has been a while since I've done this so yeah so we are going into the first game after the pandemic break that's what I'm going to call it because that's basically what it was and our last game was a 5-0 defeat to Brentford and the problem you've got now is everything starts back square one for nearly all the clubs in the league. Everyone here back at square one and it will be a little bit like a start of the season game. No one wants to get injured that first game of the season. No one wants to go flying in and especially with how many games everyone got coming up, it will be very interesting. So the whole situation with Wednesday and contracts and stuff like that, they have extended, they are talking to people about extending their contracts to play until the end of the season, Kieran Lee is one of the players who's already agreed that he can extend his, which is fantastic news. I'm going to guess both the area and Kerr are going to be in line to be the next load. Fletch is now back in training, as is Winnell. They both had little knocks and they're back raring to go. And the thing we've got is, if some players don't say, say if we were left in a situation where, say, it's just Kieran Lee extended and everyone else didn't extend, that was leave off with only one striker for the next games after the Bristol City game. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. So the table as it stands right now is us in 15th place, as you can see there. Uh, there on 48 points. Now, because we know we've got this impending EFL charge we need to pick up as many points as humanly possible and um, the thing is we don't know what we're getting out of the charge yet uh, no one knows so it could be very interesting to see what we do but we definitely need to get a big big win uh this weekend so when i was speaking to uh door on tour on Wednesday, I believe it was, when we did the live stream, he was saying how he doesn't want Jordan Rose to play because he always goes against Forrest. And he did that last time, uh, a hat-trick within 29 minutes. Um, the thing is, if he starts, you can have a lot of Wednesday fans questioning it. But if this is the team he goes against all the time, it's worth a try, really. There will be a live stream tonight. I will be on Doran Tull's channel for his preview to tomorrow game. So we'll see what happens. And please come. It'll be at about 9 o'clock. Uh, so it'll be good to have you all there. And yeah, see you at 9.